answer right, Steve. It's still uncertain. It's Gordon Brown's call next May whether there's going to be a general election. If he does make that call, what do you intend doing? What's your plan? Well, obviously stand for Parliament as an as a independent um, Green candidate. For Bournemouth? For Bournemouth East. To challenge the, the status quo, to challenge the, the fear that I've got that the Tories are going to be a worse than New Labour, challenge the incompetence of Lib Dem and generally challenge the Labour Party for being a bunch of fascist pigs. So uh, that, those are your sort of goals and aims, but yeah, the, the, it's, it's, the I'm, reason I'm interested I call it, about well, the, the finances, how are you going to afford to go in a free and fair Well, that, the, the Maggie Thatcher in 83 um, sponsored or Maggie Thatcher's government of the day in 1983 sponsored a bill mm -hmm. called the Representations of Peoples Act. Representation and in of there, Act. I think it's Schedule 9, they put in the requirement of a deposit for parliamentary candidates. Now I've checked this with the Electoral Commission, I've got some good answers from them, saying that if you don't supply the returning officer with a receipt to the value of £500, your you cannot be your nomination to Parliament as a candidate is null and void. So you'll 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 obviously be struggling to to, to well, get yeah, the five hundred pounds together, and you're trying to lodge some appeal to whether this is yeah. Well, it or it fair. ties into why I call these people fascist pigs. Anti-democratic in, in a way, yeah. isn't it? It's exclusive. The Bill of Rights, sixteen eighty nine, clearly says in Article eight. Um, to uh, ensure free and fair elections, or words to that effect. But the, the crux of it is free and fair. Free is a word that's obviously put there for a purpose, isn't it? Yeah. Free means There's, no payment. No, as no we've learnt through TPUC and, and lawful rebellion and things like that, the, the word meaning of free has got lots of different contexts. For the general people, free means it's non gratis. It's it doesn't cost you anything. Pro bono. Pro bono is, is yeah. free work, isn't it? I've been studying the stuff about when people make their oaths in a court of law. And that the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah. And the way that we say it very flippantly, but in law, it's well, a I core would say statement. That statement, if you're standing for Parliament and you get elected or, or you, you don't get enough votes, you lose £500. Pounds, but my definition of free and fair is that deposit shouldn't count. There should not be any discrimination on candidates. Mm. And then that ties in with both the Bill of Rights, 1689, that says free and fair elections. Um, it also ties in with the Human Rights Act that says there's no, discrim there's no grounds for discrimination and any grounds there are are unlawful. So your poverty should not bar so, you yeah, from being able to that's apply the, the process and you'll that, use those as your case law. Have you put in some kind of appeal then? Are you, are you kind of well that's the next step. I've taken it as far as I can go with the Electoral Commission and they've said in matters concerning the Human Rights and the Bill of Rights um, we have no jurisdiction, so you have to take it. You can't the, use that as argument then or law? Well, no, because I, I, the last email I sent them before I got the reply was that, can, isn't it your job to guarantee free and fair elections? And then they gave us a definition, which I can't remember. Um, but it didn't mean necessarily that it has to be free of cost. Um, the way she worded it was that it, it, it's up to the government to decide whether it's elections are free and fair and it's our job to make sure they're free and fair or something. But it's the role of government to put these restrictions or de-restrictions or whatever onto the, the electoral process. So to summarise, you kind of still feel excluded yeah, from right, being able uh, yeah, to I take part in, in representing... Because the this. requirement for all par parliamentary candidates is that you need this £500 deposit if you don't have the £500 deposit, you can't stand. Therefore, where do you get the £500 from? Now, 